हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल हेलो गाइस इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ वी कैन यूज रेट्रोफिट लाइब्रेरी टू फेच इंफॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम इंटरनेट एंड हाउ वी कैन डिस्प्ले एंड डिजाइन दैट इंफॉर्मेशन इन रिसाइकलर व्यू इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव लर्न हाउ वी कैन यूज वॉली वॉली इज ऑल्सो द सेम काइंड ऑफ लाइब्रेरी टू फैच द इंफॉर्मेशन और जेसन इंफॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम द इंटरनेट सिमिलरली रेट्रोफिट इज ऑल्सो फॉर दैट एंड इट इज मोर ऑप्टिमाइज लाइब्रेरी एज कंपेयर टू वॉली सो सेम एग्जाम्पल वी विल मेक हेयर दैट वी मेड इन वॉली सेम लाइब्रेरी आई हैव दिस लाइब्रेरी इज अवेलेबल ऑन गेट हाउ फ्री लाइब्रेरी If we run this library or API, then you see that this kind of information is display, and that information is in JSON format. So we will convert this information into Kotlin class, Kotlin data class, first of all, and then we will use it under the retrofit. So same API I used in the Wally example. the same i am using here just to understand that both are same and what are the differences and what are the outcome outcome is same but the coding and the api uh, functions and classes are different because both libraries are different but working and requirement are same so for that i have install a plugin also that will convert if i show you that will convert the json into kotlin data class so we have to go there in the plugin part and you see install plugin i have the plugin json to kotlin class just you install this plugin and then you go to the file or we say here we right click on this also to in this package i want to store the information so i right click there and new and i say kotlin data class from json and here i will type the information that and i make it array like this this information i am typing here and this will convert my user info data class and it all these properties will be converted into as a data class so i click on generate and you will see that automatically this plugin will create my data class user info item like this and this information is also stored in the array list so very simple so we have created the class that is required for library now for get uh, your retrofit we required the dependency library so here we have import the latest 2.9 library of retrofit with the conversion or converter of json json is used to convert the json output json output into the class or this user info class it will convert the internet information into the class and this retrofit library is used for that we have also used glide to download the image because the url having a image and that image will also display here in this layout i have a recycler view here and for recycler view i have a layout also in this layout i have a image and the user information the same kind of layout that i used in the previous volley example and i have made also the adapter so i am not going to teach how this adapter is working for recycler view how you can create your adapter for recycler view i made a previous video so you can look after that video also to understand this here i am passing a user information that user information that i have created just now from this this information i am passing in adapter and this information i am fetching from the internet with the help of retrofit so this is done here this i you have to insert these libraries also and you can search out on internet the glide dependencies and retrofit dependencies and you can find out the link and then synchronize your riddle file 
now everything is done now layout is done now recycler is also done now what we have to do we have to create a class or interfaces for retrofit so, so i am creating a one interface here or class we can say anything whatever you feel that we are going to create the interface under that so i am uh, writing a name user interface like this and i click on this so it will create a interface like this and here first of all i take one val uh, that would be the constant const val and that would be you can say base url base url and that base url would be what would be and that url would be this one which i am going to fetch the information from the internet so i am taking it this here and now i need uh, the function that will required by the retrofit to fetch the information so that function we say user in formation for example or we can say user info is a class name so we say user in four okay and this function return type would be call because this call is required and the type will be user info so it will return the user info and that call would be the retrofit library that would be the retrofit library so i should import this also import retrofit2 dot call that i have to import so this function will return the user information this one which we have created and now i have to use a one static class in kotlin with the help of object to initialize this interface and to pet the this method so for that i say uh, user uh, instance because i will create the instance of this and here i say uh, val and i say uh, user interface and user type is user interface like this and we say where or well well constant because we want to make constant this now i say in it under this in it i will create a retrofit object retrofit and there i will create a retrofit builder retrofit dot builder like this then i say alt enter retrofit class we will take this and here i will use dot base url so i will pass here my base url and remember that this function should use the fetch will fetch the get request from retrofit so here i am i am passing this users like this and i i will remove this from here so this will add here remember that base url always have the domain name and rest of the things come here in the get query so here i pass the this one base url and then rest remaining i pass here and then after base i need the converter converter so i say add converter factory that would be the json converter we say json converter factory dot create like this it will convert and it will use the json dot build so i will use this build like this and then i will create the interface of this i will use this here interface to retrofit 
I have to initialize this under after this user interface equal to retrofit dot create and here I have to pass the class so class name is user interface class dot java so like this remember we are creating the object of interface the same interface which you have created here this interface now we are passing the I say instance we are passing uh, the here we are creating the retrofit object here and we are passing here URL and we are passing the JSON also to convert this into this class of data class of Kotlin then build and here we are passing the interface address that is that have the method which we are using to fetch the information from the internet and this object we have in sliced here so this is the way to create a static type of class in Kotlin so we have this user in instance is the static class and that having a object of this interface and then we will fetch this method user in for for getting information now we have to go to this main activity here we will use this and what we will do we will uh, we will create a object of retrofit and we say user for this and I call uh, you say user instance dot user interface dot get user info like this so we have created the object of the interface now we are calling the nq method nq method and here we have to pass the callback method here in callback class we have to pass the user info that we want to fetch from the retrofit here and we have to call it in a lambda expression and then I have to implement the methods two methods that those are available here like this so if the we successful then on response we will get the data but if there is some problem then error will come here so first of all we just display the error and we say t dot to string whatever the error will come and that would be through by this and then we say toast dot duration dot show you see we have created the object of that interface using retrofit and with this this object of retrofit interface then we called nq method here we pass callback and we want to fetch this information from the retrofit library and we have implemented the response and failure method if the failure is there there is some problem then this will execute will display error if there is no error then we will have the response in our that is user info and that we will have the user info also and this would be response dot body and this information will go to this class now we check here if this user info is not equal to null if is not null then we will use that we use uh, uh, we create an adapter first of all and we call for that adapter and here we pass this at the rate main we are passing here the address of the activity <coughs> and second we are passing the user info user info because we know that this adapter required to information the context and the user information to display in recycler view so we are creating that adapter and then we are passing binding dot recycler view dot adapter we are passing this adapter and we are also uh, giving the layout for recycler view 
so recycled view dot layout manager and here we say linear layout manager and here we are passing the same main activity so it will this information if not null if the information we fetch then this will check the null if, if information is available then that information will be goes to adapter and we are passing the adapter to the recycler view and if everything is okay and i run this then we will have the information from the internet in our application here you see application has been run and the same information which we have seen in the last volley example that we have here also the same list we having we have here same kind of application Th this is using retrofit and that we have used by using volley the same information we have display and we if you want to check this also again we can go there and we just click on this and we can also verify that the information which we are using in avatar url of this image that is same which we are using in our application you see this information this user is also here in the first user you see and name is also matching so same information we have fetched from the internet you see this api is available so we fetch the information from the internet same kind of api we used in volley also and here also you see that it is more professional and more customizable also and it's easy to maintain as compared to volley so any library you can use whatever you want you can use volley also you can use retrofit also but it is more secure and more faster than the volley and more compatible also so it was the example in this video to fetch data from the internet using retrofit library in kotlin programming language thank you for watching this video